Cheers and welcome my friends. I'm Horat Duck and we are playing um, FTL Advanced Edition. We're playing with the Slug Cruiser Type A. We are in the penultimate um, sector um, before we have to fight um, the end boss, the Rebel Flagship. And uh, we're not that high on health and I really need another store to find something. Anything really. Um, so I'm gonna try to hit nodes with a lot of connections. I'm gonna think I'm gonna hit that one and that one just to see if there is a store in there somewhere. We really need one. Okay. At first it appears you've arrived in an empty system, but a ship appears from behind the planet and hails you. Ha ha! I'm the Dread Pirate Tuco, prepare to die. Four... Four shields? Really? Four shields, a huge amount of um, people on the ship. Uh, mind control um, thingy. I think we're just going to jump out of this. I don't think that we really can win it. I mean, let's try it. Let's target their shield. No, we're missing. So I guess they also have a decent amount of evasion. That's not good. Oh yeah, and they've actually mind controlled Albatross in here, which reduces our evasion quite a bit. Nasty buggers. He's going after our engines. That's not helpful at all. Let's go for more more attacks on the shields. Come on. Nope. Misses everywhere. Really not having a lot of luck there. Okay. Let's return to our stations then. Come on. Hit. God damn it. Okay, I mean, I can at least use the anti-bio beam, but is that going to help me? I don't think so. Nope, too late, too late. We really need to get out of here. I don't think we have any chance against this guy. Which says a lot of, about our ability to take out the um, end boss. I don't think we're going to be able to do that either. With the current configuration that we have going... We really need to um, exchange the entire bio beam for something more worthwhile. Come on! No, we're gonna we're gonna leave it. Oh, there's a distress beacon. All right then. Let's see what we can find. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off the distress call. Shall we investigate? Could be dangerous. Yeah. Ah, oh, five damage to your hull. You find what appears to be pieces of a derelict ship coated with ice or crystal. Before you have a chance to dock, a few asteroids get past your shields and partially damage your engines. You have to pull out. Grand. Absolutely grand. <laughs> this is not going my way at all. I mean, if we can at least reach the final sector, try the um, try the final uh, boss, it's going to be alright. But I've been going up against the Rebel flagship a couple of times. Um... I'm gonna need a lot of luck to actually take that one out. But, I mean, that's just how it goes with roguelikes. You don't really have any sort of guaranteed progression. So you have to make do with what you get. As another distress beacon. I mean, we could try it. Maybe someone is actually helping us. Okay, you find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. We're going to use the bio beam. Gain a system repair drone. And a bunch of other stuff. I mean, that's nice. For sure. Hmm. I mean, I could upgrade my shields once more. I could also upgrade my engines quite a bit. At least the next two levels. That's actually going to give us a fair amount of dodging capability. And then just... Yeah, on the other hand... Yeah, I gotta do it. I mean... Yeah, that's just how it goes. Um, so now we actually have an invasion chance of 45%, which is pretty good. Gotta make sure that we reach the exit. Maybe there's a shop in there somewhere. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Oh, it could take even more hull damage. Yeah. Mm, no, sorry. We don't have any we don't have any scanners or anything, so strikes me as a little bit foolish. Hmm. We'll try it. Move over there. 
A number of merchant ships passing through the area despite the threat of Mantis invasion. No doubt interested in buying the efficient technology of the NG. Yeah, but the... Ooh, there is a store indeed. All right, then. That's something. Let's see what we can do. An NG ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Set of necessary equipment. What do we have? Do we have any weapons? Oh, they have drones. <clears throat> Okay, sell the system repair. Do you have anything else? Scrap recovery, repair arm, stealth weapons. It's not really something that I can go for in there. And the repairs are expensive as hell. Repairs are crazy expensive. I'm gonna buy a bit of fuel from them. I mean, I guess I gotta do it. I guess I gotta fix the ship at least to a certain degree. We're cutting it very close here. You barely have time to register jump completion before your ship warns you of an incoming ship with weapons hot. Alright then, we'll see if we can do this. At least they have only three parts shield. Um, but... Yeah. This is still not gonna be a nice thing. Nope. Uh, misses everywhere. At least we have some evasion as well, so these guys are gonna miss a fair amount as well. That's something. Let's try it again. Come on, hit, you nasty buggers. Tell you what we're gonna do. Okay, we hurt these guys. That's something at least. Let's try it again. Yes, finally, we managed to bring their shields down. That's good. So now we got to press our advantage. Our chain laser is now up to its highest rate of firing. And we missed again, but I can send in the heavy laser. I can send in the dual laser and I can also go for the beam again, which is gonna be good. Let's hurt that pilot. Looks like we actually killed a bunch of them. That's good. Their shields are now completely down. Well, let's finally take out their, their med bay. Um, we should take out their weapons as well. Nope. Not gonna happen apparently. No, no, come on. We wanna hit this thing. Okay. One of their weapons is gone. Um, could actually use some help in repairing this place, so come on guys. Chain laser is getting ready again. Let's hit the weapon one more time. And once more maybe. Can also turn on the anti-bio beam again. I know we should just destroy it. They're ready to surrender. Nope. I'm not gonna allow surrender here. Come on. Let's kill the NG. Yeah, that worked. And now we're gonna wait for the bio beam because I should actually be able to take them out with that. They must be heavily damaged by now. Come on. Nope, didn't work. Did not work. Can definitely not risk taking more damage, so I guess we just gotta kill him off then. Goodbye. It's not worth the amount of scrap. Oh, we gain a lot of scrap though. Nice. Guess I'm just gonna keep that in the back pocket. Maybe I still find a store. I can't even be stores in the um, in the last sector. You find an abandoned mining station on a nearby moon. A quick scan shows no life forms. However, you discover a usable drone schematic. So we gain a combat drone, but we don't have any drone control. Let's get out of this damn sector. You arrive at the long range beacon. Your ship is flooded with advertisements. Oh yeah, someone is selling a lot of fuel. We're not gonna use even that much fuel. Let's move on to the last stand. And let's see if we have any luck. You arrive in an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? 
When I explain my mission, the explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Terzel of the Engine Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. When I explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Tali responds, it's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but we must succeed in destroying their flagship. The current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel, and the other repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. Okay, we gained some repairs now. Mm. So, the thing is, we have to defend our base. There's the rebel flagship. It's going to move towards our base. Um, the repair stations are also going to give us um, scrap and stuff. Um, the problem is that the rebels are going to take control of these um, places very soon. Mm, I really would like to maybe find a store before we get there. Because there are some. A rebel ship is guarding this beacon. You order pursuit calls and prepare to scratch up one more. Alright, let's make it happen. Um, Got to punch through the shields, that's for certain. And the heavy laser. Come on. Um, well, at least at least their shields are down, so we're going to go for the beam. Maybe these two. <laughs> it's a little bit like ants. Attacking ants with a with a glass. All right, let's go for this. Nope, we're missing. We're missing dreadfully, and we're taking damage here. Um, definitely got to repair our O2 supply. Still haven't managed to punch through there. And we missed again. God damn it! I mean, forcing them into their med bay, it's not really helping us long term. Yeah, no, I have to go for concentrated salvos. We're not gonna get anywhere otherwise. All right, now let's go. And let's send the heavy laser after it. All right, that's good. Let's do something like this. Maybe we can kill off their their people still. Now yeah, we're getting we're getting a lot of uh, stuff that misses our ship as well. That's pretty nice. And they back up with their stupid shield. Okay, we hit once. And we got hit in the O2 again. Come on, yeah, now we actually managed to destroy one of the... And our beam was blocked. Yeah, the anti-bio beam loses its usefulness at a certain point. But we had a bit of a stroke of bad luck not finding anything else to replace it with. Okay. This could go on forever. This could literally go on forever. Let's shoot this thing. Okay, are they charging their FDL? No, I guess they've had enough. That's good. We've got to take out their guys and their, their drives, most importantly. Come on, charge up. Right. Um, they don't have they don't have a pilot in there though, <laughs> which strikes me as a bit of a waste. But we're gonna go for their we're gonna go for their engines. They're offering their surrender. I'm not gonna accept their surrender though. It's not an option. Um, if I hit them one more time, they're actually gonna go down. So I'm gonna wait until the bio beam is up, and we took a hit into the med bay. Grand. Will I be able to hit both of them? I won't. Uh, but apparently that worked. With the crew dead, you're able to take the fuel out of storage. You also take the scrap you can manage. Okay, we've got a repair post over here. Guess we're going to jump into that one. I mean, we've got a fair amount of scrap now to upgrade our ship once more. Eight hull points repaired. Bunch of scrap, bunch of stuff. An NG civilian shipyard has been converted into a military refueling station. Thank you. 
Um, I mean, I could make two jumps to reach that repair station down there as well. Collect a little bit more scrap. Where are they going? They're coming over here. Um, we have to make sure that they don't arrive there and stay three turns in the base. So It's hard to tell who is winning the nearby battle. Before you have a chance to figure it out, a fighter moves in to attack. Oh no! Four shield things? Really? I have no chance of taking that out. Well... I mean, I do have a certain chance, but we might actually miss everything. Okay, I mean, I hit at least one. And we've been boarded. That's not good. Guess we've got to send all the additional people in there. Trying to take out that boarding drone. We also have a hull breach. That's just grand. That is just grand. Well, we've got to wait until all the weapons are up, because otherwise we have no chance of actually punching through their shields. Send that one after it. Yes, okay. So we took at least uh, took down at least one of their rings. Let's see if we can't press our advantage. I mean, it's too late for the anti-bio beam. Okay, let's make that happen, guys. Okay, we didn't hit anything, but I can actually um, stop them from repairing that thing. Holy cow, that took out two of their crewmates. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's press our advantage then. Yeah, another hit. Um, let's take also out their med bay. That might be a good idea. Ah, oh, they're bombing us. That's annoying actually. That's really annoying. We've got to heal Kevin. Can't lose him. Alright then, I guess we just got to attack them. Oh yeah, we actually managed to depopulate the ship. There isn't time to salvage the enemy ship, but your crew made off with a few nearby materials. Prepare to jump. Hmm, they're closing our way off to the base. If I jump and go for that repair station, well, I guess I have to. I want the I want the scrap. Okay, a forward construction station station is in the process of repairing damaged warships. All right then. Um, it's going to be difficult to get to the base now. <laughs> I mean, we can jump back. Is everything repaired? I guess it is. Mm, and it's already moving into the base, so I guess we got to punch through. Take the, take the hard way. Um, I will go ahead... Upgrade our engines. Mm. I think I gotta upgrade the engines to the max so that we have as much dodging capability as possible. Doesn't look like we're actually gonna gain. Well, do we see a store? No, we don't see a store. Right. Well, I guess that's the only way to to go then. Gotta upgrade the gotta upgrade the engines to the maximum to gain maximum dodge. No, oh, right. Yeah, we've got to return people to their stations. Then we can take that one off. Now we've got 55% chance to evade. So we have a higher chance of not being hit than being hit. That's pretty nifty. Ship hails you. Good sir. Seems you're having some troubles with the rebels. I'd like to help you, but I can't afford to the upkeep required on this hunk of junk. Yeah, no, we have no need of your services right now. So, ship has already arrived at the rebel base. This is going to reduce it to two. This is going to reduce it to one. Cutting it very close here. Hmm. Well, we still got to take the long way. If I go through the occupied sector, we've got my... Just make too, take too much, too much damage. You scan the area, finding signatures for only a small trade vessel. However, as it approaches, you see the silhouette of a rebel scout. You run the scanners again and discover the registration is fake. All right, then. Okay, so they got a flak cannon. They got a burst laser, I guess, and a beam weapon. That's going to be all right, I guess, if we can punch through their shields, that is. 
Yes, okay, that went well. That actually went really well. Um, okay, we're being boarded. That's not great, but I guess we can live with it. Send Weep in. Hmm. Tell you what, we're going to send all these into the med bay. Uh, we're just going to open the doors and let the air out. Okay. Now let's try again to punch through their shields. Come on. And the heavy laser. Yes, very good. And we got the anti-bio beam. And um, that could actually have some use. I'm going to take you. Oh, no, too late. Crap. All right, then they're preparing to fight Kevin in that room, which I really don't want. But now it's four against two, which should not be a problem at all. Let's target their shields once more. Shields, okay, and the shields are completely down now. That's really good. Perfect. We're having a lot of misses now. Come on, miss. Yeah, that cannon's completely missed. The beam doesn't miss. That's a bit of a problem, but I guess we can deal with that. Um, let's go with this, with our own beam weapon. And let's also destroy that med bay. Ha ha ha! We actually killed three in a row. <laughs> Holy cow. That's brutal. That's absolutely brutal. Let's hit that guy up. Um, we got fire inside our own ship now. That's not great. Let's turn the O2 off for a little bit. Um, actually got to close all the doors. Um, I'm going to heal people. Okay, that person still is not dead. That's a bit of a shame. Let's try it now. Okay, that didn't work out. We gotta wait until we can bring the beam to bear once more. Uh, and hope that we don't get hit by those laser projectiles. Um, everyone can return to their station. And yeah, we're having a lot of misses now. Really nice. Heating those guys up and more misses. <laughs> Took down the shields, but they completely missed. Come on, give me the anti-bio beam. We need it, and we need it now. Nope, still didn't work. They might actually be able to get their shield up again. Yep, yeah, as I said, it would be. Crap. All right, so we're going to try to just use the heavy laser to do this. And they're gone. Now that the ship has been emptied to hostiles, you search it. Eventually you find a prisoner who offers to join your crew. We gain Steven. Another pilot. Another pilot. That is pretty good. That makes me happy. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Asja. We need you to leave. Um, sorry, we've got to keep, keep Steven. Although Steven could just be Asja. Let's just pretend um, that that happened. Um, right, you guys are going to stay in the cockpit. Make sure that the helm is manned at all times. Let's send everyone else back. Oh yeah, and the O2 is still out. So that's actually not a good idea. I don't have enough energy. I guess I could add a little bit more energy here. And indeed I can. So now I can power all my systems. That's really good. Send these guys over. And we've dropped fairly low in terms of oxygen. Where's Wolfric? Oh, you're in there. Why not healing? Oh, no. Yeah, you're down in shields. All right, then. That's fair, I guess. We have a very human crew, <laughs> considering that we started out as a slug cruiser. Mm, all right. So let's save the positions. Ah, crap. Rebels are about to gain control of this sector, which is going to be nasty. Fleet has found you, and a nearby scout turns to engage. Uh, the problem is that we also have the anti-ship batteries firing at us. Which is gonna be not good. Let's just try to punch through their shields, but I really don't intend on staying and fighting because the odds are rigged against us. Okay, at least we stop more people from teleporting over into our own ship. Come on, charge. 
I mean, we've upgraded the um, engines so much that we should be able to get out of this before the ASBs can actually move against us here. Okay, close the doors again. Bring you in. And let's jump. Thanks. Right, we've got to engage the Rebel flagship now or never. It has to happen now. And it's going to be very interesting if we're actually able to make a dent. I mean, whenever I play a run of FTL, I'm content if I actually reach this point. Um, so I think I should be happy, but oh well. <laughs> I don't think we really have a chance of taking it down, but I might be surprised. Yeah, it's cloaking. Grand. And it has hacked our med bay. No, stop killing weep. You... Oh, come on. <sighs> you will be remembered, weep. Stupid hacking. Right, we gotta try to punch through their, um, through their shields, just like always. Yeah, and what we're gonna do is... We're gonna try to attack these guys, um, because they actually don't have a way to reach the med bay, at least not on normal or easy difficulty. If we were to play on hard, they would actually be connected to the rest of the ship. Okay, I mean, that's something. Our chain lasers, yeah, misses are actually coming in thick and fast. We're getting hit sometimes, but overall I'm still pretty happy with how that goes. Engines are actually really important, but they are not as flashy as the other stuff that you can upgrade, so one sometimes forgets. That one should upgrade the engines. Okay, let's try again for the shields. We haven't done any lasting damage. No, oh, and it cloaked. You bastard. Oh. Yep, yeah, the misses are happening though. That's all down to our shields and our um, great pilot Pyramus and our engine person Chris. Oh, they got their full shields up again. The problem is applying any damage to them, since we kind of got screwed in terms of uh, weapons draw. It's going to be very slow uh, applying any damage here. We can't take these guys out. Oh, come on. No, I wasted the I wasted the anti-bio beam. Can happen. Let's go for the dual lasers and then the heavy lasers as well. I guess we got hit by a rocket here. Well, you can't dodge everything. This is going to take a very long time. <laughs> Not sure I really want to... Uh, come on. We need to punch through at least once. Yeah, they can do with the med bay all they want now. We don't really need it anymore. Come on. Got to take that shield generator out. Okay, that did it. Um, let's try to kill these guys now. Ah, oh, stupid flagship shields. Come on. All right, all the lasers are up. Let's go for it. Yes, that looks like progress, definitely. We're gonna take down their shields. And then we'll finally be able to apply some damage. Now we don't really have to wait for anything else. We can just have these guys hammer the shields as hard as possible. Yes, perfect. Perfect. All right, so let's do this maybe. Okay, we killed another person over there. We should be able to take out their weapons now. So let's go for the missiles first. Okay. Hopefully that does something. Oh yeah, and our uh, engines got hit, which is reducing our evasion drastically. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can't heal our people, uh, which is a bit annoying. I guess we should spread them out more. And yeah, they are definitely busy trying to get their shields back up and working again. So we're gonna target that thing like ASAP. Yeah, it's working though. <laughs> Looks like we'll be able to actually finish the first stage of the flagship without too many problems. Our damage dealing capabilities are not great. But at least our defensive capabilities are pretty high with our great pilot and uh, stuff. So it's jumped out now just as you finally gain the upper hand it finds a way to make an FTL jump. You've got to keep up the assault. Alright then. Guess we gotta do that. Um... We gotta heal people though. 
That's that's a, a, a must. So let's heal all our guys. Yes, looking good. Send you back. Did you guys get hit? No, you didn't. No one else is really hurt. Okay then. Um, it has a store. <laughs> That's hilarious. So the store was always right next to me. Well, what else am I going to do? I'm going to jump into the store and see what I can do with my 26 grab. At least I can repair the hull. Um, repair arm, automated reloader. We already got a bunch of these. Repairs are very expensive. Can sell this thing. Now, should we just go for a bunch of repairs? Or, I mean, I could also upgrade something, I guess, on the ship. I could upgrade... What could I do? I got enough energy for now. I could upgrade the door systems. Don't really strike me as that important. Mm. Right, no. Um, we actually gotta just repair our ship. I mean, what else are we gonna do? When do you need the hull points? when you're fighting the the final boss and then oh we're at 19 grand i really planned that out very well let's go after the rebel flagship but i guess i actually got to do that in the next episode this has gone already over the 30 minutes um so i guess we're gonna want to try to finish this run in the next episode for now thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it please leave a like if you didn't tell me why in the comments so i can improve and if you want to see more stuff like this um more ftl more um of space stuff um rogue light stuff then please consider subscribing hope you join me for the next episode um pretty sure that's going to be the final episode one way or the other thanks bye bye